Good day. Welcome to part two of your house in Blender. So let's check it out. So in part one, we built the house. We set up uh, floors and materials as separate objects. So right now, if we look at our sort of the objects we have, we should have first walls, first floor, second floor, second walls, third floor, third walls. Sweet. Let's, let's begin uh, by setting up some different materials, OK? So what we're going to be doing first to start off is we're going to be hiding okay, everything except the first floor and its walls. To do that, uh, we're going to use our, uh, we're going to unclick, excuse me, we're going to click on the um, different eyes here okay, that uh, are going to hide those other things. Now, additionally, we're also going to hide, see how we've got this camera here? That's also going to set it so that it does not render. Okay, So right now, the only things we should have rendered should be the first floor and walls. Okay, So just I'm going to check just our camera a second here. Let's see what that looks like when we render it. Mm, yeah, pretty good so far. Good stuff. All right, so we're going to go back to our 3D view here. Okay, uh, first thing, what we got to do is, this is going to be for later, but we're going to take care of it now. We're going to disable shadows. To do that, we're going to go ahead here to the scene control panel. Okay, so that's just the little camera thing. And we're just going to click where it says shadows. We're going to get rid of the shadows. The reason is, uh, we're going to be having our, our floor stacked on top of each other, and our light source is going to be above uh, everything. It's going to be, uh, so we got to disable shadows, okay? So make sure you have shadows disabled, okay? Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting the material for the floor and walls, okay? We're going to have two different materials. I'm going to make it like, I'm going to make sort of like brownish, yellowish um, walls and then just some sort of fun color for our, um, like for the floor and stuff, okay? So let's check that out. Let's go ahead here to our, let's start out the walls, okay? So let's check it out. So we've got our walls there. That's good stuff. We'll click on the Materials tab, the Material tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus button, okay? All right. So now uh, we've got two materials there. We're going to call this then, so this is the first floor walls. We'll call it first wall material press return button. Okay? So now what we're going to do is where it says diffuse, I'm going to pick a nice sort of yellowish color. Okay, and you can see that right now currently uh, it's turning all those other, uh, all the rest of my uh, sort of objects that color. That's okay. We'll fix that. So I gave it sort of like a tan color. Alright, so that's going to be my wall color. Now, let's go ahead to uh, I fell over here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on unlink data block. Okay, this X button. All right. So now, now our sort of uh, our walls and stuff. Excuse me, our floor and rooms, that kind of stuff. Now they are their own separate color. So we're going to do new. And instead of that tan color, I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm going to have it blue. Sort of a nice deep blue. So now let's render that. There we are. So for me, my rooms are going to be blue and my walls are going to be uh, sort of that tan color. Okay? So now we have to repeat this process with, uh, with the rest of our floors. Now there's going to be an important difference though. So we're going to have to add what's called transparency uh, to our uh, other floors. If you remember in GIMP, on each layer you could change the opacity. In this case, we're going to be doing something very similar. Okay, so just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to hide my first floor now. I'm also going to make it so it can't render it. Now I'm going to go to my second floor, both the floor and the walls. Okay, so now we can see, oh, cool, great. We got to fix that up. So let's select, let's do the, uh, the walls first, like the outside walls first. Again, I'm going to go ahead here, unlink that data block. 
do a new. Set it to like a tannish color, something like that. You know, something, something fun. But not too, too fun. Okay? Just something simple there. And then uh, the material you could just call it like second walls. It really doesn't matter. Uh, now, here's, here's the part that's going to be different. Okay? Where it says here, uh, what I did is I'm still in the materials panel. Okay? So I'm still in the materials panel right there. Uh, I scroll down, okay, and right here where it says transparency, important. Just click on this tab, and I'm going to select it. So now that is selected. So I'm going to set the transparency to 0.5. Okay, to do that, we're going to go here where it says alpha. Just click once to 0.5. Then press turn or enter. So now as you can see like in a preview it's pr it's half transparent okay it's half transparent okay so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for uh, now our floor okay so let's unlink that send a new material do like a bluish sort of thing and we're gonna go ahead here also enable transparency on it as well so again Click on transparency, put the alpha to about 0.5. There we go. So we're in good shape. Let's render that. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, good stuff. Okay. Escape out of that. Good stuff. Okay, let's hide. And now we've got one floor left. Okay, so let's reveal third floor okay so again let's delete that material set it up let's call it third floor walls excuse me third floor floor <laughs> I'll just call it third floor okay set a color you know just tannish really doesn't matter uh, then again transparency now in this case since this is our top floor uh, we, this means that you have to be able to see two floors below it. So we're going to need to make it the most transparent out of all of our other floors. So in this one, we're going to put it at like 0.25 uh, for our transparency. So right here where it says our alpha, instead of 0.5 like we did for the second, we'll go ahead for our third and put it 0.25. Nicely done, sir. Okay. Again, now we go to our walls. Let's unlink that. Of a third walls. Set the color to make sure. Oh, oh darn! I accidentally uh, set my colors wrong. So I'm gonna go back to that other one. There we go. I want my royal blue back. There we go. Third floor. I want my. There we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's go ahead to our transparency. Set that alpha again, not to 0.5, but 0.25, and there we are. So let's go ahead, let's move, let's check where our, our lamp is. Let's just get this fixed up already. And then let's see what our camera sees. See, our camera is way too sort of zoomed out. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you a new way to adjust your camera. So we're going to go to um, uh, view view and then um, align view and then what we could do is act align active camera to view so that means it's going to move your camera like to what you're actually seeing right um, in your screen it's going to move the camera so the camera sees that so instead of having a mess see that's so much better so much better so let's I'm just gonna grab it now so just a little oh that's so much better okay Though, I don't know, let's see here. I might want to change it up a little bit because I can't exactly see. So I'm going to try it like here. So let's go again. View, uh, align view, uh, align active camera to view. Yeah, I, I like that. So now let's, let's reveal the rest of our stuff. Okay. So let's check it out. So you can see I've got three layers. Let's see what that looks like. Let's 
render that. A little, little messy, but you can see we've got our different layers of transparency. Okay, I think I'm going to adjust the transparency on the top floor just so you can see a little bit better, and maybe change my light source. So let's go ahead. Let's exit out of that. <clears throat> so let's check out our transparency for our second floor. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's change that up. Let's change that to. Try 0.75. Okay, 0.75. Now this is one of these things that you're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to play with for now. The walls. There we go. Let's try that out. 0.5. Let's render that now. Let's see what we got. Ah, and our light source. Hmm. I'm gonna try a sun. Instead, I'm going to move that up just a little bit more. Okay, let's render that now. Hmm, no, that's not what I want. I think I'm going to keep the transparency for the walls pretty low, but then keep the uh, transparency for the rooms or the floor where they're at. Okay, so let's go ahead then. Set our uh, set the wall stuff to point seven five point five. There we go, and then that to point two five. And then I think you know what we're gonna do our first floor walls. Let's put some transparency on that. All right, let's see what we got. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to change my camera angle again. Because what you want to do is you want to be able to see most of your rooms. So let's play around with this. Let's see what happens. So again, let's change our camera view. Let's do a view. Align view, align active camera to view. And then also, one thing I want to show you is this is if you go to your camera, okay, so I went to my camera object, you can also change your, uh, so make some fine adjustments by doing that, okay? Um, let's check it out. Yeah. I think I'm going to back my camera out just a little bit more. And then I'm happy with that, okay? Yeah, I like that. Let's see here. Back my camera out just a little bit more. Let's do a view, line view, active camera to view. Here we go. Uh, but another thing you can do too is with the scene, you can adjust the camera by going to the aspect ratio. Okay. Let's see here. There we go. I'm gonna grab that. Let's see what we got. Okay. That's not too bad for my first uh, attempt. I'm pretty happy with that. I think when you do yours, play around with the different levels of transparency. Play around with getting a nice camera view, a nice camera angle, okay? And, uh, you know, have fun with your colors, have fun with your rooms. Uh, you can even add textures if you'd like. It's completely up to you. I wish you the best of luck with your work.